And we begin tonight. It's the first case locally where a suspect has been found guilty of human trafficking. But could this case encourage other victims to come forward? ABC 7's Kate Flexter is here and has the story. Kate? That's right, Chris. The man was found guilty of six felonies, one of which was human trafficking, making him the first person to be convicted of that crime in Sarasota County. It was last November when 22-year-old Ronald McBride III began coaching and grooming the victim on how to trade her body for drugs and money, a relationship that quickly became abusive. And he became violent with increasing violence over the time period that he was essentially pimping this particular victim out. The victim told police she had to give all the money she made to McBride because, quote, he owns me. She was not out there on her own doing this on her own free will. Uh, human trafficking, the statute requires a level of coercion. Months of abuse came to a head one night when the victim did not return. And when McBride found her, he beat her with his gun. When he left, she was able to get up and run to Tamiami Trail, where she said McBride was less likely to shoot her. It was there someone found her and called 911. On Friday, McBride was found guilty of six felonies, one of which was human trafficking. It was scary, and she was extremely brave. The president and CEO of the nonprofit Sela Freedom says this case is crucial in the fight against human trafficking. It sends a strong message to those on the street that, hey, people do care and we're going to start cracking down. Sela Freedom says Florida is third in the nation for most human trafficking, and the Sun Coast has the second highest rate of the crime in the state. Sela Freedom, along with the Sarasota Police Department and the state attorney's office, is actively combating those statistics, starting the very first prostitution diversion program in the state. Fisher says that safety net helps girls feel comfortable coming forward. They're able to actually testify now where they never would have. And I think it is a landmark case in positioning us as a leader in this movement because this girl knows she did it because she had the safety of being protected so she could use her voice. McBride is expected to be sentenced in September. The maximum sentence he faces is life in prison.